what's going on youtube in this video i'm going to be teaching you how you can overclock your controller this guy does work for xbox and playstation controllers but i do not have a way to find out your ms on xbox if you do please comment down below maybe i can include in another video later on but the first thing you want to do is to get winrar you're going to need winrar to download the overclocking controller tool Link will be in the description of the website, click download Rinrai, and then there will be instructions on the screen. After you've done that, you want to go to this link, it will be in the description as well. Then you're going to want to click hide spf.zip and then you're going to click download. After that, you're going to want to open the file with Rinrai and then click extract to. I put it to my documents folder, click new folder and then click OK. Once you do that, Go to your documents and it should be there under the folder named hide SPF. I'm going to open it, then go to driver and then click setup. This is the overclocking tool. You want to click all where it says devices. You want to find your controller. The controller usually has a wireless controller or say HID game compliant controller. Once you're on your controller, you want to click filter on device and then click install service. If you do get an error code like this on screen, then you'll want to turn off secure view. Depending on your motherboard's company, you want to Google your motherboard, how to disable secure view, and then after doing that, you should restart your PC and it should work. But I'm a little BS for Windows because I have a PlayStation controller. You can check out my other guides if you want to find out the best DS4 settings. But I'm going to click edit, go into controller readings, and as you can see, I have like 3.4 slash 5 you know input delay on my ps5 controller and now if i go to the overclocking tool i want to click filter on device install service where it says default you want to click that drop down i set it to 1000 install service and once that's done you're going to unplug your controller and plug it back in and after doing that if you're on a playstation controller i went back to my ds4 windows controller readings and then i see that my input delay now says zero ms so depending on your controller, you might not be able to get exactly zero. Some PlayStation 4 controllers get it down to like 0 0.7, 0 0.5. You know, it really depends on control controller. But if you enjoyed this video, that's it. And uh, peace.